Hello everyone, my name is Damien Monnier, I'm one of the designers on Witcher Wild Hunt and in this video I'm going to teach you how to be a professional Witcher. In the Witcher Wild Hunt you will face many dangers. Here we'll explore some of the best weapons, armors, tools as well as tactics to slay the fiercest of enemies you and your allies will encounter. In Novigrad, help Hattori return to the forge. And, in return, he will craft for you master-level weapons. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Listen, would you craft something for me? For an armor at a master level, you'll need to help Joanna at Cross Perch. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Need some armor made. Witcher's armor. Heed the locations revealed in Treasure Hunt Quests to scavenge for diagrams featuring weapons and armor sets for the distinctive Witcher Schools. Once the Mastercrafted diagrams are located, Atori and Joanna will forge these sets for you. The School of the Cat, a light armor set providing faster stamina regeneration. Its bonuses include plus 70% resistance to elemental damage, as well as plus 50% to attack power. The feline blades offer a bonus to art sign intensity and a higher chance to cause bleeding. The Cat School techniques are fit for a nimble assassin who enjoys fast strikes as well as dancing around staggered enemies. Increase your fast attack damage and bleeding effect with muscle memory and crippling strikes. Use fleet-footed to negate damage from enemies while dodging. Equip skills to increase adrenaline point gain, such as resolve or razor focus. Once your adrenaline points are filled, use Whirl, a spinning attack that strikes all foes in the surrounding area. Or you can use Flood of Anger to cast a max level sign. The art sign sends a directed telekinetic blast to stagger opponents. The alternate sign, however, Art Sweep, strikes all foes in a certain radius. If the enemy is knocked down, you can pounce on them with a swift execution. The School of the Griffin, my favorite. This medium armor set provides a 50% bonus to sign intensity and resistance to damage from monsters. The blades of the griffin provide an increase to critical hit damage and sign intensity. For those who enjoy enhanced magical capabilities, the technique of the griffin school maximizes the effective power of signs. Equip focus, adrenaline burst, and rage management, allowing you to cast signs using gained adrenaline points when your current stamina is simply too low. Use the Igni sign to burn a group of charging drowners. The alternate sign, Fire Stream, is very effective against some heavily armored enemies. When outnumbered, use Axie to stun up to two enemies at once. The alternate sign, Puppet forces a target to briefly become your ally and deal 60% more damage. The School of the Wolf. This medium armor set provides plus 50% resistance to damage from monsters and an increase to attack power, adrenaline point gain and sign intensity. The Blades of the Wolf provide a boost to adrenaline point gain, sign intensity, critical hit chance and the chance to cause bleeding. Wolf Skull techniques cater to a Witcher with a keen combination of swordmanship and signs. Equip skills to increase adrenaline point gain such as muscle memory, razor focus or whirl. The Airden sign will slow enemies within a certain radius. Combine Eden with Whirl to unleash a flurry of silver and steel to a slow-moving enemy. The alternate sign? Magic Trap. Damages and slow enemies and even destroys projectiles passing through the area. Get round this right. 
The School of the Bear. This heavy armor set decreases stamina regeneration, but the set bonus provides a plus 70% resistance to damage from monsters and plus 50% adrenaline point gain. The Blades of the Bear feature a 75% critical head damage bonus and an increase to adrenaline point gain. Bear School Techniques will fortify one who prefers a vigorous blow. Equip Strength Training, Crushing Blows, Rend and Sunder Armor, providing significant bonuses to your heavy attacks. You may also use the Quen Sign as a protective shield. The alternate sign, Active Shield, will only drain stamina on blocked attacks and the damage absorbed will restore some of your vitality. Use Active Shield to move closer to the enemy, unarmed. Activate Quen to absorb enemy strikes. And cut them down with a fully charged rained attack. Knowledge of the natural world empowers you to create potions to heal yourself or even enhance your fighting style. Oils and bombs can weaken an enemy and turn overwhelming odds into your favor. The Thunderbolt and Swallow Potions increase attack power and heal you. A safe bet for a Witcher and his sword play. Hack and Slash through any obstacle with Thunderbolt and Maribor Forest, increasing attack power and adrenaline point gain. For those of you who love their magic, Petri's Filter and Towny Owl will increase sign intensity and stamina regeneration. A Witch's Blade coated with superior oil will deal 50% more attack damage. The Witcher Bestiary will inform the reader which oil will be the most effective against a variety of monsters or men. Bombs are used to destroy nests and incapacitate a group of hostiles, or even prevent the use of magic. If you find yourself against a group of foglets, use Moondust to prevent them from disappearing. The same goes for Wraith. Blind the three eyes of a fiend with a Samen Bomb. Poison a group of bandits with Devil's Puffball. Nullify the magical abilities of elementals with a Demeritum Bomb. Use Grape Shop to bring down the beasts of the sky. And, when facing a swarm of Neckers, simply use Northern Wind. With trustworthy blades, sturdy armor and, of course, the right preparation, you can deal with any monsters. But, in the politics of men, with hearts of stone, you will be on your own. Okay, that's it for now. There are more tips for us to discuss. However, I'm gonna save that for another video.